As we thought about this class, as it sort of developed over time, we went from being a study in opposites to a surprising, shocking study in similarities. When I first heard about it, I couldn't believe that I was going to get to get credit to see the world. I'm putting together a program for a group of exchange students where they're going to come to this tiny little bit of southwest England and they're going to look at Roman archaeology and Neolithic archaeology and the glories of Georgian Bath and then go to Bristol and look at gritty urban redevelopment and we're going to be comparing that with sites in and around Los Angeles. Here we would compare like and unlike places, cognates, if we're going to visit Stonehenge, I thought we would visit Watts Towers, an equivalent site asking the same broad theoretical questions. When it came to the presentation and the promotion of the past in these two different places, the core questions of what it is we want to present and how we want to present it and what it is we are doing when we present the past, those are questions that are shared across the ocean. The Salisbury Museum, that man said that it had been there for 700 years. 700, I mean. As an American, your history is, it, it's so short. And you come here and you see buildings that are centuries old, and it, it's just an amazing experience. For our students, the great value of this class is getting out there and seeing how actual practitioners on the ground, in the museums, are confronting these everyday challenges. What you hear from people that work in the museum is always really different from what you read in a book. We can talk about artifacts in a classroom, but to actually see them and see the ways in which people display them and the way that people read different artifacts in different buildings gives you a new insight that you don't get in other classes. It's a great way to make connections, not just with the students in England, but developing relationships with people in the community at Claremont. Being able to interact with, you know, a PhD in English and PhDs in history and PhDs in cultural studies, I mean, to me, that is my perfect way of learning. Our hope for this class is that the students, after having been presented with both the theoretical responses and the practical responses of presenting the past in the museum, that they're going to come up with some very creative and very special answers to those questions as they move on into their careers.